Hey there and welcome back. In this video we are going to study constants in assembly language, specifically focusing on three directives provided by NASM. EQ, ampersand assign and ampersand define. So for instance the first line move ECX total students. This moves the value of the constant total students which is equal to 50 into the ECX register. And this means that the value of the total students is loaded into the ECX for further use in the program. As far as the second line CMP EAX total students, this is actually a comparison instruction. It compares the value in the EAX register with the value of total students. The CMP instruction doesn't modify the values in the register. It only sets the status flag based on the result of the comparison. Later in your program, you can use conditional jump instructions to make decisions based on the outcome of this comparison. You can even use expressions as operands for EQ directive. For instance, you have length which is equal to 20, width which is equal to 10. Now the area is equal to the length multiplied to the width. In this example, the area will be defined as 200. Now let's take a look to a practical example to see how all this works. First, let's introduce the EQ directive which is used for defining the constants. So you have the first line here, we are defining a constant sys exit as 1. Next we define the constant sys right as 4, constant standard input as 0 and constant standard out as 1. Now we have the section of text and the global underscore start and this is as usual our endpoint for our program to start working. We have the line number 10 move eax sys underscore right. And this loads the sysstride system call into the EAX register. Next, we have the load standard out into the EBX register, loading the address of message 1 into the ECX register, and loading the length of message 1 into the EDX register. By the way, ECX and EDX are almost the same, working in the same manner. They are counter or data, and they're working usually for looping. Next on line 14 we have the interrupt instruction O by 80 to trigger a system call to execute everything. Then we're basically repeating the same code block twice for message 2 and message 3. And then finally we are loading the system exit system call into the EAX register and again triggering system call with the interrupt instruction. And then finally we have the three messages, message 1, message 2, message 3. And for the three of them, the logic is the same. We're defining message one, for example, as a sequence of characters, including the string, hello programmers. The same goes for message two, welcome to the world of comma, and message three, Linux assembly programming, exclamation mark. And finally, when you run this code, it will display the following result. Hello programmers, welcome to the world of Linux assembly programming. Next, let's talk about the ampersand assigned directive. This directive is similar to EQ but allows redefinition. It's great for redefining numeric constants. And here's how it works. You have the ampersand assign followed by the constant name and then finally the value. So for example, you can assign number 10 to the constant called total. And then later in your code, you can redefine it to 20. Just remember that the ampersand sign is case sensitive. And finally, we have the ampersand define directive. This powerful directive lets you define both numeric and string constants. It's somewhat like the hash defined in C language. And here's how it's used. You start by the ampersand define, following by the constant name, and then the value that should be assigned to the constant name. For example, you have your constant name which is PTR, and then you have the value which is EBP plus 4. In this case, every instance of the PTR will be replaced by the EPP plus 4. And just like the ampersand assign, the ampersand define allows redefinition, and it's also case sensitive. Alright, so that wraps up our exploration of constants in assembly language today. In the next video, we are going to take a look at logical instructions.